Perfect. So this is just kind of step one, our, our business manager tutorial and just bookmarking all the most. Hey, David, tabs. David, yes. David, hold on. Okay. Yes, for sure. Hey. Okay, cool. So, Bye. so let's, let's, let's um, save this one. So in the top right, hit that star, that star, at the right, top here? right? Yes. We're going to, we're going to name this one and this one's going to be business settings. We'll just take away the number 74 and let's just name it business settings. And then let's put it in its own folder. So we're going to, we're going to create a folder. Um, actually, wait, 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 before you do that, click on the drop down. Yeah. For folder. So let's get it out of app. Let's get it out of app sumo and let's, let's new folder. Let's do new folder. And we're going to just name this one business manager. So right here on the bottom, new folder. There you go. So actually not, not in the app, not in the app sumo. Cause that one is right below the app. Sumo. No, I, I don't know why. Uh, hold on. Um, maybe if you click, if you click out of it, yeah, there you go. Perfect. So maybe you could put it right there. New folder. Perfect. Okay. Then cool. I'll so this, one, this is going to be FB business manager. Or, or let's name it, let's name this, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what, let's name it FB Ads Manager, FB Ads Manager. And then everything's gonna go into this folder. Okay. So, um, so go ahead and save. Perfect, so the, the FB Business Settings goes into that folder. Perfect. Okay. So now to the left, let's just make sure, and then this app down here to the right, Hidden Interest, what is that? Do you need that? Where? The hidden one. hidden interest right there. Yeah, do you need that one? Uh I I went and uh, Google some shit and they showed me how to find hidden interest on. Yeah, you don't need any of that because that would be good. That type of stuff is good when you're like a nationwide brand or your international brand and you're marketing to everyone in, on Facebook. But but you you're going to be focusing local, right? Like okay. the only ad that you went that everywhere was a like ad. You know, after that, what we're going to learn from this point on is all local ads. So you're going to okay. be targeting a very small area. So you don't even need interest. You don't even need any of that. So see if you can um, manage app. The blue one, see if you can just shade that to gray. Um, and then and then maybe we might have to delete it on the other end. And we'll, we'll look at that later. But that's fine. We'll leave it there for now. But we'll delete it on, on another page. Um, okay, so perfect. So we got that. So click on pages to the left. Pages. And let's make sure that, that your page is over here. And that's all we should see is just your page. So that's the one that you run everything out of. And then um, and then you have two pages, the, fa the fast house, ha house exchange as well, right? Yeah. OK, perfect, perfect. OK, cool. Now, add accounts. Let's click on add accounts. And we're going we're gonna to bookmark this over here. So add accounts. So this one right here, Let's go ahead and, and click on connected assets right there to the to the right connected assets. Actually, um, in the middle connected assets. Yeah, click on that one. And then right here, go ahead and click on add assets. Let's see if we can add our pixel if it's here yet. Okay, it's not there yet. We'll, we'll set up the pixel first and then we can we can add it here. So go ahead and close this cancel that. And then let's bookmark this one right here. And this one's going to be add accounts. So Whenever, yeah, let's just name it add accounts. Perfect. Okay, so, and then and then what you can also do is, um, yeah, add accounts, that's fine. Perfect, so done. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna wanna do is the add account will be named your real estate business name. Your pixel will be named your, your real estate business name. And then the business manager will be named your, your business real estate name. So if you can keep the same name for everything, and that's why I want to take out your name, even if we just add real estate at the end of your name or, or real okay. estate or whatever, I want to be able to distinguish the two different ones. I don't want to see your name on this one and then your name on the other account, you know? So let's, let's, okay. let's make sure everything is separate. So let's click on edit right here on the top right. Click on edit, and you should be able to change the name right there. So go ahead and, and just name it. Name it something real estate. Like right here? No, right at the top. It says add account name right there. So so rather than just your name, let's put something real estate. Perfect. Perfect. Homes and perfect. So we're gonna name everything that. Everything is gonna be homes and what is it? Homes and homes and town. town. Ho homes and homes and towns. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna name everything that. So hit save changes. And this right here, this is your ad account. So 
whenever any whenever Facebook ever needs to know anything, like if you ever like I'm going to be available for you whenever you need me, man, like even past these training calls, you ever need anything for me to look at your ads for me to, to strategize with you on these Facebook ads, whatever, I'm going to always be available way past these five calls or seven calls we have set up. But sometimes there's some shit that comes up that I don't know the answer to. Like sometimes, some, like I know a lot about this shit, but there's sometimes where something will hit me and I don't know the damn answer. And so that's when you'll have to reach out to Facebook. And, and whenever you reach out to Facebook, they're going to want to know your ad account ID number. And, and that's it right there, the 655. That's that's right. Yeah, that's a very, very important number for Facebook. So before they ever talk to you, before they answer your question, before they anything, they're going to want to know the ad account ID number. And, and that's it right there. Okay, so you'll bookmark this. This is ad account and, and we're, we're, we're fine right there. Perfect. So now to the left, we're going to click on data sources right at the bottom, data sources. And then we're going to click on pixels. So this pixel right here, what you want to do is you want to add yourself to the pixel. So let's go ahead and, and click on add people and you're going to add. So you're going to add your, actually not that one, the one to the right where it says add people. Yeah, click on that one. Your, even though even though we're putting everything in your business name, Homes and Towns, that's going to be the new account. The new business manager account is going to be named Homes and Towns. Everything's going to be named Homes and Towns. Even though we're setting everything up that way, it still has to be tied to the individual. So everything is still going to be tied back to you. You know. So, so right here, we'll check your name. And then right here to the right, you'll click right on, here. Yeah, perfect. And then and then you'll click on manage pixel. No, the bottom one. Manage pixel. That one. Shade that one blue. Perfect. Assign. Okay, cool. How, how do I how can I get rid of this guy? I thought I deleted him. Yeah, it, it just may not have updated yet, but it won't be okay. there. It won't be there next time. So click on assign. Yeah, he should you, it, it normally takes a few minutes and then he'll, everything will be will be deleted. So click on done. And then so um Right here, this this is your pixel, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have you bookmark it from a different page, not not from this page. So, well, like, uh, how do, where's the pixel? I'll show you where it's at. We're gonna we're gonna go over there and bookmark that page after this one. Okay. Okay. So um so now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down, and and right there where it says brand safety, one thing that you're gonna want to do, click on domains is and this is this is a very very new update right here the domains very very new this is like a two week old um, update that facebook implemented now what facebook wants to do before before two weeks ago you can run a facebook ad to any website and and let's say for example your broker the website that you guys get let's say you run a, a, a an ad to that page or or any 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 website page facebook used to allow that and they still do but now the link that you're sending them to has to be your link. So, so it has to be it like homesandtowns.com, right? So if you're running a Facebook ad, now, now you don't have to have your own website. You can, have, you can have a landing page. You can use your company website, whatever. But the link, the link, the link has to be your link. And so, and, and it's, only, it's only the beginning. So when someone clicks on your ad, they're clicking on homesandtowns.com. And then, okay. and then and then maybe homesandtowns.com forwards to your real estate website that your broker gives you or whatever, right? Like it, it forwards to a different landing page through a different company, whatever. But the first click was homesandtowns.com, right? So, so now as of two weeks ago, they want that homesandtowns.com. They want that click. They want the first click to be your customized link. And then again, after they click, you can send them wherever the hell you want to send them, but it has to be your link that they're clicking on to begin with. So okay. what you'll want to do, if you don't have it already, is you'll want to get a, a, a domain. And I have a, I, have a, I have a domain with uh, homesandtowns.com. Perfect. Are you using it for anything else? For my website. Okay. So if you already have a website, let's see, go to it real quick, open up another tab and just go to homesandtowns.com. Let's just look at it real quick. Okay, perfect. So then right here, when someone comes here, now here's the deal. These websites are not, not really for Facebook ads, like at all at all. Like this is a great website just to give someone information, but that's exactly what it is, just giving them information. When you start running Facebook ads, every ad is very specific. 
very, very specific. Every ad is very specific. So for example, if I'm running an ad, it's on, a, it's on one property. It's not on 15 other ones. So if, if that person sees my ad and they click on it and then they come here and then they scroll down and they see 10 different ones, that's not the ad. Like the ad has to go to one specific property. If, that, if, if we're running an ad for a listing, if we're running an ad uh, for an open house, then that... No, but go but ahead. Aren't, you, aren't you able to, to add the link on, uh, on when you say... Uh... Click link to get to learn more or whatever. Yes, yes. So, so the problem is, is that like let me let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Go ahead and stop share. Let me let me share my screen. So, so, so imagine your website. This is your website. I can click on home. I can click on buyers. I can click on sellers. Customer reviews. Valuable oh, resources. You me, right? Do you want me to stop share? Yeah, stop share. But I want you to just look at your page. You got your page right there. Your website, and you have all those different things to click on. Right. Yeah, because I, I, I can't see anything that you that you have because well, you can see it now, right? Now I see it. Yeah. Okay. So again, if you can if you can just look at your website where there's a lot of different things to click on, right? You have a lot of different things to click on, resources, blog, all these different things to click on. When uh -huh. it comes to Facebook ads, everything is very specific. So so the the ad it's talking about an open house for that specific property. The ad is talking about that one specific property. It's a listing ad and we're trying to get people to opt in on, 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 on the listing. Or if I'm running an ad on a seller guide and that person, let's say I'm just giving information and I want and I have a PDF, I have the top seven ways to, to sell your house in 2021 and, and all it is is a five page you know PDF that I'm giving away. That's a great way to capture seller leads or a buyer guide, right? You're going after first time home buyers and now we're running ads to get people to, to download your free buyer guide. Anything like that, everything is specific. So for example, if I'm running an ad on a listing and, 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 I, and I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through and I'm seeing what my friends are up to and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Anytime you see the word sponsored, let's say, let's say this right here. Actually, you know what? Let me go to my, let me go to my, um, let me go to, let me show you my actual group. Let me show you this one over here because this is all real estate over here. So here, here's the way an ad would look. Let's say, for example, I'm scrolling through, I'm scrolling through. Let's look at, let's look at, um, let's look at just listed. Perfect. This is a perfect example right here. Perfect example. Okay. So this, this real estate agent right here, Carrie Bell, she's posting this listing, right? Just listed. There's a property, there's some information. And then, and then down here, you just, have, you just have this link right here to her business page. But if it was an ad, down here, right, right where it says 10 posts reach, if this was an ad, all she's doing it is posting in the group. That's all she's doing is just posting in the group. But if it was an ad, I want you to imagine this if it was an ad. If it was an ad, it would down here, it would say learn more, right? Because uh -huh. that's, what, that's what all the ads would say, learn more. When I click, now again, She's running an ad on a specific property. When I click, she's bringing them to one single page. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. And then a few bullet points, view all 17 photos now. That's how you capture a lead. That's how you capture a lead. So, so what I'm saying is that she's running an ad on one property. A and this could be an open house. Here's another page that I have for an open house. So let's say for example, she, she, she's, she's running this as an ad and she's promoting her open house that's happening Saturday and Sunday. I click learn more and I'm coming to this one single page. Open house, Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4. And, and then just a few bullet points, click here to RSVP and I capture the lead. So, so when it comes to Facebook ads, what I'm trying to say is that it's very specific. What I see go, go where, where I see every real estate agent go wrong is when I click, they're sending me to a website where there's 50 different things to click on. And before you know it, that lead or that person that went there clicks on 45 different buttons and you don't capture the lead. 
right? So, so, so when it comes to Facebook ads, you want to run it on one single thing and take them to one single page where there's only one button to click on. Yeah, but there's, there, there's also, oh, okay, okay. Okay, I now now I understand because I was gonna I was gonna tell you well you know, I mean if you on my website if you go and you just uh, Click look around. at the property, um, go ahead then and you can put a link. Go, go ahead and share your screen again. Share your screen again. Let's go back to your website. See. See, so there's just there's just too much going on, is what I'm saying. No, no, uh, hold on. I, what, what I'm trying to say is, is, I don't know why why my computer is slow today, but let's say I uh, I want to share this one, right? So I can just grab this link and and share it, and they will. They have all the info here. They have the pictures. They can do requests uh, showing. Okay, so then, so then if that person ends up clicking on blog, if they end up clicking on valuable resources, before they ever put in their name and number, that's where you lost them, and and yeah. that's, that's why that's that's why that's where I'm saying, this website is not the one you want to send people to. Okay, not the one you want to run Facebook ads to is what I'm saying. It's a great website after you capture the lead. So after I capture the lead on this specific listing, I'm running an ad. For 300 South Ocean Boulevard, I'm running so you, an ad for this specific. So you're looking for like a, maybe like a landing page or a squeeze that's, page. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. You need a landing okay. page or a squeeze page, not a website. Now, now again, the website's good for for future resources, but not for the Facebook ad. Okay. Right, not for the Facebook uh -huh. ad. So, so, so that, so landing pages, squeeze page, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need. And then once I, I run the Facebook ad on 300 South ocean Boulevard, they click, they go to my, my landing page. They put their name and email. They click on send me more info. Then I'll email them a link to this page that gives them all the shit. Okay. Right. But it's, but it's after I captured the lead, not before, you know? Because, because yeah, even though you have the name and, and field and email and, and you have the dates available, schedule is showing, if that was all I saw, that would be great. But the fact that I see everything else at the top, I'm going to end up clicking on customer reviews. I might go to valuable resources and click on something there. And before you know it, my wife's calling me and I got to go. And you never got my information, right? So, mm -hmm. so you send them here after we capture the lead. Um so, so you can leave homesandtowns.com going here. That's totally fine. What, what you may want to do, let's open up another tab. Go to Google. Go to google.com. And then, and then right in the search field, let's, let's type in cheap domains. Cheap domains. C-H-E-A-P. Cheap domains. And you don't have to do this now. But, but later on, you may want to just consider and just think about what you'll do is you'll click on the, um, where's the GoDaddy one? You see a GoDaddy one? Or you go, you go through Namecheap? Yeah, I, okay. I actually have a, a few through Namecheap. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so either Namecheap or GoDaddy, whatever. But, but for future, you don't have to do it now. But just consider and just think of a, of, of a different domain just for your Facebook ads. Okay. Just for your Facebook ads. And so, and, and here's another thing that I want you to, to, to also keep in mind. When it comes to Facebook ads, you really, you really don't need to, need to run ads on listings or open houses. What would really keep your pipeline full of buyers or sellers is when you run a Facebook ad consistently every week, giving away a free buyer guide or giving away a free seller guide. That should be your Facebook ad campaign. It's not a listing. It's not an open house. It's not even a buyer's list. It's or actually, it could be a buyer's list. We could be running Facebook ads to give people a buyer's list of what's on the market. That's a great way to capture leads as well. But, but it's because you're giving them something of value, right? You're giving them something for free. That's what makes people opt in. And so when you take them to one single page and they can enter their name and email to get what you're giving them, that's how you capture leads. So, so it's very specific. Either I'm running an ad to give out a buyer's list or I'm, give, or I'm running an ad to give out a buyer's guide 
a buyer guide can just be a, a five page PDF giving people tips on what to expect when they go and purchase, or maybe giving information on what it takes to become a first time home buyer. Or, or you're giving out a seller guide, right? So if you're focused on just listings, if you're a listings agent, giving away a seller's guide and teaching people in a seven page PDF, a, a seven page guide, all it is is a free download, but you're teaching them what it takes to sell in 2021. The difference between trying to sell on your own or hiring an agent, different tips. I have a ton of examples that I can send you of different agents. They have a seller guide. I can I can send them to you and, and you can look at it and get you know get an idea. But 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 if you can run ads giving away something like that, that's what would keep your pipeline full all month. And 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 you would focus on one. Focus on one. Either you're a buyer's agent or a seller's agent. And this is just for the Facebook ad campaign. I'm just giving you the best strategy. The best strategy from what I've seen is 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 keeping your pipeline full by by running that type of an ad. Either either you're going to start educating people on what it takes to sell and you're going to give them something for free download or you're going to educate people on what it takes to buy. That's the Facebook ad. But it's one. It's one or the other. It's not all. It's not all. It's it's one or the other. And that's what makes it very easy for you to put out content as well if you can focus on one topic. So, so, so every week, if you're running a Facebook ad, you're talking about one topic. You're talking about the process of selling and then you're giving away a seller guide or you're talking about the process of buying and you're giving them a buyer's list or a buyer's guide. That's the Facebook ad campaign. So, so um, we'll get there. We'll get there down the line, but this domain, it should be, it should be your Facebook ad campaign domain. And this is the domain that you tie to Facebook. So, um, so you can get this later, like get this later, but, but we'll, we'll go ahead and bookmark this. So let's go back to the business manager real quick and let's just bookmark this page. Cause we'll come back to this Let's. let's and you just add the domain here. You add the domain there. There's a few other things that we got to do, but yes, we have to add it here. And then we have to log into Namecheap and we have to let Namecheap know Facebook is going to give us some kind of code and we have to, we have to integrate it with Namecheap as well. So there's a few more steps. Um, okay. which again, it's new. You never had to do this before, but you have to do it now. Um, so, so, so one domain for Facebook ads is what you should for sure get. Okay. So let's bookmark this. We'll come back here. That way you can later on, you can think about what name you want, but, um, let's name this domains. This is domains. Okay, perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and, and to the, to the, to the left, we're going to click on Let's make sure, actually your payment methods are, methods are you, you, yeah, let's click on payment methods, click on payment methods and see if you need to add it here. So what you can do is just add, add it here. They, I thought they, they, they have a card on file. They have it, they have it on file per, for your other ad account. So, so a oh. business manager has multiple ad accounts and maybe that card is in different ad accounts, but this right here, when you add it here, this card is tied to the entire business manager, which is how you want to set it up to begin with. So you can always add this part later, but bookmark it and then just come back in here and add payment method. Okay. So this is just put payment method, payment, payment methods. Perfect. Yeah. You want, it's like one card for all. And that's what this is. So one, one card for all, and you can always change it later as well, but, but adding it here is the best way to do it. So the last one is business info to the left. So let's click on business info and let's just make sure everything is updated over here on the business info to the left, right there, bottom business info. Yeah. So let's make sure all this is, is perfect. So all that's up to date. And then, um, you verified your email already, right? So if you scroll down, you should see your email under my info. Um, is that verified or, 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 or not? I don't think you verified it. Yeah. You haven't, I don't think you verified it yet. So if you need to add a different email or you want to use that same one, go ahead and just resend verification email and then, and then check your email. I think it's verified. No, no. Cause it wouldn't, it wouldn't say resend. So go ahead and, and check your email and see if, if that came through. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but um, maybe check promotions. See if it's in the promotions one. Um, I got it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Confirm business email. Perfect. That right there, my friend, was very, very important. That was very important right there. Um, 
that that this this allows your account to stay active longer than than normal. Sometimes ad accounts will get shut down because basic stuff like this is, are not verified. So this was very important. So I'm glad we're doing this part. Um, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to bookmark a few other pages, a few other parts of the of, of all this. And um, all we're going to do is we're going to click on. Actually, you know what? Here's another thing we'll do as well. The very, very top, you're going to right here in the in the middle. Yeah, right here. Let's change your name. So your name at the top, go ahead and click on edit. This one's going to be homes and towns. So this is the new business manager, um, homes and towns. And that's what you'll see to the very, very left in the drop down. It'll say homes and towns. It won't say your name anymore. Your name will be on the other account, but not on this one. This is this is the new one, homes and towns. Perfect. And then so now if you click on add accounts to the left, let's click on add accounts. So now over here, we should also see homes and towns. So that one's right there. That's perfect. And then and then go to refresh the page. Your name at the top left, that should go to homes and towns. Perfect. So now everything is homes and towns under the business manager. And if you click the drop down in the top left, you'll see your account right below there, but that's your personal account. Everything now is going to be running out of, out of the business manager, out of homes and towns. Okay. So now, now let's click on the, on the buttons at the very top or those dots at the very, very top. We'll click on the dots. And then we're going to go to the, to the ads manager. Let's go to the ads manager and we're going to bookmark the, the new ad account, which is the same one, but we just changed the name. So let's make sure we're in that account. So if you click the drop down, actually that's it right there, perfect. So go ahead and X this out. So now you're in Homes and Towns. We changed that name right there, the top left. You see Homes and Towns. So let's bookmark this page right here. We're gonna bookmark this. And, and this is just Ads Manager. Ads Manager, and this is where your ads will run, run out of that account. Okay, so Ads Manager is all you need right there, Ads Manager. You could take away the Manage Ads campaigns, delete all that, so just Ads Manager, perfect. And then take away the 74. Perfect. Okay. So that's, that's your ads manager. Perfect. So hit done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the dots to the very, very left. And let's go to billing. The billing is very, very important is knowing, knowing if, yeah, click on billing, knowing what your, um, your billing date is. So you're not, you know, surprised with a random, you know, transaction. That's very, very important. So click on payment settings right in the top, right payment settings. And we're going to bookmark this page over here. So right here, let's go ahead and bookmark this one. This is um, this is your, your billing. billing. Yes, billing. Okay, perfect. So then your billing date is the 19th. So you'll be charged each time you spend 175 and also on the 19th of every month. So that's always good to know um, the 19th. Okay, perfect. And then so now click on the dots to the left. And now let's go to the events manager. You'll see um, events manager. If you scroll down right at the bottom, events manager. Perfect. Um, you just passed it. I think it's a little, little up higher. Right there? Yes, events manager. Perfect. So over here, over here is where you'll see your pixel. So this is your pixel right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to X out of this part. So, so as you're navigating through the platform, as we're clicking on different things, you always want to make sure you're in the right account. And, and the way you can know that is in the top right, you see that drop down, homes and towns. So, so sometimes, watch, go ahead and click the drop down in the top right. Sometimes by default, Facebook will have you in, in, um, in the see more ad accounts. So if you see more ad accounts, click on that right there to the right, see more ad accounts. It's the drop down. Yeah, right there. Sometimes they'll have you in the bottom one, right? So that's why every time you're navigating, always make sure it says homes and towns so you know you're in the how, right how account. Come there's two? One is your ad account and one is the business um, uh, manager account. So, so this is this is this is the ad account. Yeah, that's the ad account. That's the one. So so that number six five five. You always want to know that six five five six five five eight two. That's your ad account ID number. That's the one we bookmarked. That's the one Facebook will always want to know is your okay. ad account ID number. Okay. So now right here, this is where we can we can we can bookmark this right here and let's name it Pixels because this is where we get our pixel from. So let's just name it Pixel. 
And so that that website that you showed me, is your pixel on that website? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think it is. Um, and so that that's another thing. So sometimes when you when you have certain websites, you you can't add your pixel on it for some reason. But um, that's going to be very very important. Is is being able to. I think add I think I'm able to add it. I just uh, I I gotta play with it because I don't know how to get there. But I okay. think uh, I, I'm able to do it. Okay, I'll take a look at it later with you. Um, we'll do that on another call. We'll log in together and, and see where it's at. Um, but here's what we're going to do. Now, again, everything is homes and towns. So even the name of our pixel. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit. We're going to click that pencil right there where it says pixel, your name, and then it says pixel. Edit. Right here? Yep. Click homes and towns. That's homes and towns. Perfect. So everything is, is now under that. And so we'll hit there. save. Yep, hit save. And so your pixel is right there where it says add events. So if you hit that drop down, right where it says add events to the left, you see the little drop down right below, right above. Um, it says pixel conversion API below, right down, 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 right there. Add events, add events above. Uh -huh. No, the add events above. A D D E V E. Oh, this. Yeah, right there. That's where your pixel's at. So if you click on that. And then you click on from a new website, from a new website, and then install code manually. If you click on that and then click on the green button, copy code, that's your pixel. So you just copied it. You just copied it. It's a bunch of letters and, and numbers and all this random stuff. You just copied it. So now what you got to do is you got to go paste it on a website. We'll do that part later. That's on our, that's on our third call is the pixel, but, but this is where it's at. This is where it's at. So we bookmark this and we're good here. So we'll X out of this. We'll, we'll put it somewhere else later on, on our, on our next call. But um, let's X out of this part right here. And then now there's only a couple more, a couple more bookmarks and then, and then that's it for this one. So let's hit the dots to the left. Um, and then let's go to audiences. We're gonna, we're gonna, the audiences are very, very important, man. This is where, again, where every, everyone, not, not just real estate agents, just business owners in general. This is where most people drop the ball. And, and that's why a lot of times people will try to run Facebook ads and, 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 and they wonder why they're not capturing leads. Facebook ads and capturing leads is all about retargeting these custom audiences. So, your custom audiences are people right here. What you have down is a lead form. That's a custom audience. Another custom audience is someone that's watching your video. So if you're running a Facebook ad and it's you on video, and let's say it's a two minute video, you can create a custom audience of those who watch one minute of it. You can create a custom audience of those who watch 20 seconds of it, right? So these are custom audiences. Those are, these are audiences of people who are watching my previous videos. And these are video ads, right? Another mm -hmm. custom audience is that the reason why the pixel on that website, on your website, homesintowns.com, the reason why the pixel on it is so, so important because as you start to run Facebook ads, people click on your ad, they come to your website, but they don't fill out the form. That is a custom audience. And the pixel needs to be on that page for Facebook to track it. So what I would do is I would create a custom audience, web page visitors, web page visitors only. These are people who clicked on my ad, went to my website, but did not fill out the form. Those are people who were somewhat interested. They clicked on your ad, they got to your website, but for whatever reason, they didn't fill out the form. And there's many reasons why someone didn't fill out the form. They could be driving, they could be cooking, the baby could be shitting in the diaper and they gotta go change diapers. A million things can happen on why they didn't fill out the form, but they got that far, they were interested. They got that far, they clicked on it, they got to your website. That's a custom audience. That's someone that I want to show another ad to, right? I want to show them another ad. And then, and then also another custom audience. I go to your, I see your ad. I click on your ad. I go to your website. I enter my name and email, and then I click submit. That is a custom audience. That's a lead. So those, those people who do that, I'm going to make sure that I put those people in a custom audience, and that might be leads. Listing leads or seller leads or whatever lead, I'm going to create a custom audience around people who opt in. And the reason why that's so important is because as you go and run future ads, you're going to either retarget these audiences, you'll retarget those who watch your previous videos, 
You'll retarget those who land on the website, but don't fill out the form. And then you'll also always, always, always want to exclude. So if I have a custom audience right there of leads, when I go set up yeah. my next ad, I'm going to exclude them from seeing it. Now, but how, how did you create a custom audience or already say automatically creates? No, you create them. You're, we're gonna, I'm going to show you right now. So these audiences right here, did you do those ones right there? No. Okay, let's delete them. Check the box and just delete one at a time. Just do one at a time. We're going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you how to do this the right way. So hit delete and then and then just delete audience and then do the, do the next one. Let's delete that one. Okay, perfect. So now let's just let's just get something random on your on your Facebook page. Do you have any 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 videos on there at all? On my your business page, your Facebook business page. Are there any like old videos or anything? I think so. Okay, let's just for for practice. Let's just create a custom audience around, and it'll, it'll show us over here. It'll show us right here if, if you do. Click on create a custom audience. Now these uh -huh. are all the different ones that we can create an audience from. Now. Where you're really going to focus on is website and video. Maybe customer list, may, maybe, but really it's, it's website and video. Again, website, website would be those who click on your ad, go to your web page, but don't fill out the form. That's a custom audience. Those are website visitors. That's an audience that I want to retarget and show another ad to. Another website custom audience, are, are, again, as I mentioned, are those who actually fill out the form that's a lead. So if they fill out the form, that's a custom audience. That would be under website. And, and again, that's an audience that I would exclude. I don't want to keep showing those people my ad. They already opted in. I don't need to keep showing them ads, right? So that's why you would create a custom audience under the, under the website. You would create a custom audience so you can exclude those people, the leads, from seeing future ads. And then so, so it's website that we're going to focus on and video. Those are mainly the two main custom audiences that you'll be creating. So in this case, with this example, let's do video. Click on the video one. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna click next and then we're gonna see if there's any video up here. So go ahead and hit the drop down, choose a content type. And, and, and here's our different options. So again, it doesn't matter how long your video is. It could be 10 seconds, it doesn't matter. One minute, two minute long, three minute video of you talking about what it takes to sell. And again, this is only if you're gonna be doing video. Some people don't do video and you're just gonna run image ads, whatever. But, but if you're gonna do, do video, I, which I highly recommend doing video, these are just all the different timestamps that you can create an audience around. So if it's a one minute video, I can create an do audience you, of everyone who watches 15 seconds of it. Do you recommend a video of yourself or a video? Yes, ad bro. Of, yes. no, of, I recommend yourself. Like, I don't care how you look. I don't care how you sound. I don't care. Do you need to put graphics and all that stuff? No, hell no, bro. None of that shit. You don't need none of that. You need it. It needs to be as, as raw as possible, as authentic. You need to, you need to pull out your cell phone and just talk for two minutes. That's okay. yeah. That, yeah. Sounds good. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple, bro. No editing, no adding shit, none of that, none of that. Pull out your cell phone and just and just talk to me for one minute about what it takes to sell. That's it. And just give me tips. Give me tips on what it takes to sell. Give me tips on what it takes to buy. And then give me a, give me a call to action. Say, hey, guys, and by the way, if you click learn more, click the button below the ad, it'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free seller guide. So, so okay. this could be simple, bro. This could be very, very simple. Video is powerful and simple. So for, again, in this, what we're doing here, if it's a one minute video, what I would do is I would create an audience of those who watch at least 25%. Because if you just watch three seconds, that's not a lot enough time. 10 seconds, uh, 15 seconds, maybe. But if you watch 25% of my one minute video or 25% of my two minute video, that's a good amount of time that you sat there and watched what the hell I was saying. And so I'm going to create a custom audience around you guys, 25%. So now let's click on choose videos right in the top right, choose videos. And then right over here, that's the video you have. Perfect. So let's choose that one. Check the box to the left. And that's instant cash offer for your home. Perfect. So check that box and then click confirm at the bottom. So right here, now all we're going to do is name it. So we're going to name the audience name. And it could be the same as you name the video. So whatever you name the video, um, cash buyer or whatever you named it, 
Go ahead and name name the name that to audience name. Cash cash um cash cash buyer video. Cash buyer video. And then in in parentheses, in parentheses, you're gonna put 25%. So yeah, 25%. That's our first custom audience. Now that video, go ahead and create audience. That video, most likely you just posted it. You probably never ran an ad on it. So, so this is just an example. But in the future, if we ran an ad on that and we were targeting, let's just say Miami, we target Miami and that was our video that we ran last week and we targeted Miami and we got 5,000 people to watch that video. Then it would be worth it to create a custom audience and retarget them in the future. Because I ran an ad and those are 5,000 people who live in Miami who watch this specific video. Now it's worth it to create a custom audience. But in this case, with this example, that was a video that you just posted organically. So the seven people that viewed it, I don't even care about them, right? So I wouldn't even retarget this audience in the future. This is just an example. But no, I, I'm trying to understand why didn't it show the other videos? Because I, you know, I posted. Uh... Create audience. Click on the blue one again. Create audience. Go to custom audience. It was probably the business page. So, so now click on, um, actually click on done, click on done right here. Good, do it again, create, create audience and then click on um, custom audience, custom audience. So if you go to video again, it's, it, you'll, you'll see the different business pages. I think you have different business pages. So um, just um, choose anything. Yeah, just go, go um, do it again, Cho choose 10 seconds or whatever, it doesn't matter but I'm gonna just show you where, where it's at. So choose videos right there, click on choose videos. And then right here, you'll see the drop down. So oh, at the okay. top, yeah, you were in your other one. So this one was 40. Yeah, perfect. See, so, so again, these are videos that you just put on your business page for the hell of it. But if we ran an ad on that, if we ran an ad and that was 4,000 views, that's the custom audience. We'd want to get, get that and create a custom audience around that because we ran an ad. Those are 4,000 views from Miami. Let's retarget them with our next ad. But in this case, if it's just 20 views, 40 views, 15 views, those are people from all over the place, right? Because you posted it and you got all kinds of random people that like your page. People, even before we ran the like ad, you still had people across the country who like your page. So it's not really targeted. Those, vi those viewers are not really targeted. They don't all live in your area. Okay. Okay. So, so, so just in the future, as we run future video ads, we'll create custom audiences of those videos, because again, those videos will be ads and you'll have thousands of views. And, and that's how you keep getting in front of people who are watching your previous ads. You create custom so you, audiences. So you, so you, so you want to run the, the video ad instead of, um, uh, or just posting it on your business page, right? Both. Very good question. You're going to do both. You're going to post it on the business page, just like you did with all of these. You're going to post that next one. It's going to be an ad. You're going to post it on the business page first, and then we go run an ad on it. So, so okay. as you post it, we're going to edit it. We're going to make sure the text reads exactly what we want the ad. That is the ad. The post is the actual ad. So, so you post it on the business page first, and then we come back and run the ad. So just now, like quick question. Yes. The, there was one time when I run, uh, I did a, 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 like an open house, right? So what I did is, you know, I, I made a video, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a walkthrough video, uh, and then I premiered and I, I added an event, and I think I I did a nod, and you know how you able to run the video when whenever the open house is scheduled on, on the event? Yes. So I did that, uh, but I don't see it here. So this, um, yeah, that's that's and see, you might, you might, yeah. The reason why it's because it wasn't a post; it was an event. Okay. So, so these are all post, and so when you go and create an event, that's an event. That's something completely different. And then you run a Facebook ad to the event page. And that's where people can can accept and and attend or not attend or comment, right? Like it's the event page, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that won't show over here on the business page. 
Okay. Yeah. So so um so let's let's X out of here. So this right here, I want you to bookmark this page. So if you X out, so just go in and X out of that. That's our first custom audience. That's the one we use for an example. Bookmark this, and we're gonna name this one custom audiences. Custom audiences. Okay. And then our last one, our last one, we have one more, and then we're and then we're good. And then we'll review everything we have saved. So now hit the dots to the left. Um, and we're gonna click on custom conversions. So if you scroll down, you'll see, actually, no, it won't be right here. It'll be in the events manager. Yeah, so click on, click on events manager. So hit the dots and then click on events manager and then we'll see it over there. So events manager, perfect. And so now you're gonna hover over the blue triangle to the left, just hover over it. And then you're gonna click on custom conversions. So if you hover over the blue triangle to the left and then you'll see custom conversions, perfect. So right over here, this is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about. And again, this is another reason why most don't capture leads. This is what it's all about. Now, we can't set this up yet until we until we look at your web page and, and, and know exactly where we're gonna put the pixel on what web page, or if you have to go get some landing page software or whatever. But but we'll get on we'll get on, the custom conversion, we're gonna connect all this on our on our third call. But let's bookmark it for now. The custom conversion is the most important, man. The most important. All this shit is important. But let me explain to you what a custom conversion is. Go ahead and save it. What do you want me to, what do you want me to call this one? Custom conversion. So this right here is custom conversion. And let's let's and, and so let before I show you exactly what a custom conversion is and, and what Facebook ads is all about, before I show you that and, and we'll end it with that, but let's just review what we have so far. So let's go, let's go to the folder real quick. So if we go to the folder, there should only be seven to eight um, bookmarks. And that's what it's all about. So let's look at where the folder goes. I got to organize this shit, man. Yeah, man. Um, but I know, I know it should be, maybe hit the arrow at the very, very bottom. You probably have a ton right more. So if you, if you go back, there's an arrow at the, no, 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 leave that, but go back to the, to the, to the favorites. There's an right. arrow right there. Yeah. There's an arrow, oh, the yeah. drop down. I think it might be down there. So if you hit that drop down at the very, very bottom of this, you see that little drop down the very, right below the last one that you see my plus leads. So if you go down right here, yeah, put it right there. That's fine. Okay, cool. So let's, let's look at this photo real quick. And let's see, let's see everything we have in there because that's all we're going to need, man. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The Facebook settings, the ad accounts, the domains, the payment methods, the ads manager, the billing, the pixel, the custom audience, and the custom conversion. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Those are the only tabs you'll ever need to click on. Now, what we're going to do on, the, on our next future calls is we're going to start filling in everything. We're going to fill in the okay. custom conversion. We're going to fill in the custom audiences. We're going to fill in the pixel. Um, and then we're going to fill in the domains. So, so here's a little homework for you. A little homework is to, is, to, is to think of a domain. Think of one domain. Go get it from Namecheap. And this is going to be the one domain that we tie to your Facebook business manager. We're going to run and, our future and, ads. And it can be whatever or? I mean, or you want it to be. Specific? Here's, here's what I highly recommend, bro. What I really highly recommend when it comes to what we're about to do is I, is I recommend approaching it as, you're, as if you're the buyer's agent or a, a listings agent. And, and, and that's the content that you're going to start bringing to Facebook ads is you're going to start doing ads, teaching people what it takes to sell or teaching people what it takes to buy. It's one or the other. It's not both. It's not teaching people all kinds of shit about real estate. It's it's not it's it's focusing on one topic. That's the campaign. And so if you can do that, let's say it's sellers. Let's say we're going to educate sellers and we're looking for listings. We're, we're we're now a listings agent and we want listings. So now I'm going to start educating people through my video ads on what it takes to sell. I'm going to start giving people a bunch of tips on what it takes to sell and then I'm going to give them the call to action is not to call me the call to action is not to comment below. The call to action is not to send me a message. The call to action is to click learn more and go download my free seller guide. So if you can approach it by giving away a, a free seller's guide, 
then you should maybe think of a domain around that. Homes and Towns Seller Guide dot com or something like that. You know what I mean? Homes and Towns Buyer Guide dot com. So now we approach the market by giving them something of value for free. That's how we get leads. We're giving them something. We're giving them information up front for free in exchange for their name and email. That's how you capture a lead. Well, so, here, here's, uh, I don't know if you will see, uh, but I think you are. I think yeah, these yeah, are all my, all, these are all my domains. Okay, so let's look at these ones. Let's, um, Fast House Exchange. Um, and this is Wesley Chapel is home is because I live here. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. And I was, this was just the Nawal, Nawal group, is just in case I decide to create a group or whatever. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can get another one. And then, you know, I have some Spanish as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's buy cool. my house. Uh, what's, the, what's, what's the price of my house? Uh, let me see what's this one. My house. Uh, my house is worth what? Yeah, I mean, uh, in Spanish. I'm just translating. Yeah, 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 but anyway, yeah, yeah. But uh, um, I, can, I can do, uh, I don't know. Uh, Think of, I'll, think of something I'll, that has to what I can come up with. Yeah. But again, the, the goal is to focus on, on one topic. So either again, buyers or sellers. That that's the one. So pick one and then and then think of a name around around that. Maybe, maybe how to sell your home fast in Wesleychapel.com. And and now you're teaching people how to sell their house. And and that's the type of content that we start bringing to Facebook ads, is we're teaching people what it takes to sell. Right. Okay. So something like that. You could think of it. Think of it. Think of something and 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 there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer, but 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 staying on the topic is 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 good. And that'll be the one domain that we use and we're 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 targeting buyers or we're targeting sellers. Either one. Okay. So just think of this. Can, before. I, can I call like something like uh uh I need more room, maybe dot com. Yeah, man. So you're looking for sellers for for whatever. Well, again, focus on one. So so something like that. That domain makes me think of someone that needs to sell because they need more room, right? They're, they're maybe they're they're trying to sell so they can upgrade, right? That's yeah. what that would. That's just the first thing that comes to mind for me. I don't know. Everyone's different, but but if I see that, I need more room.com. That that that's for sure. I would I would I would probably target sellers, and and look for those that are looking to sell because maybe they want to upgrade. Right, like if if that's what you it means, then yeah, that would be good. I don't know what what it means with you, but that's just what I think right away. Okay, I'll uh, I'll see what what I can find. Yeah, and and again, there's no there's no wrong wrong one. So. That one right there, man. Shit, available. Actually, that's a premium. That's a premium name. So that's yeah. Don't I know. I, I I I gotta think of something. Yeah. I mean, I can go with that with that net. I need more room. Dot net. Yeah, you'll want to get a dot net, a dot com, or even a dot org. But really, dot net or dot com. Try try for one of those dot net or dot com, and then just think about it, man. Don't rush it. Think about it. I think we have another call. We have another call. One Thursday. Or, or to, actually tomorrow or is it it's tomorrow, next... tomorrow on Friday. Okay, perfect. So think of it by tomorrow and then we'll connect it tomorrow and then we'll go from there. Okay. So what what is the homework that you say you need think me to of do? that? Think of that one name. Think of that one domain. And and and, and you want it to either be uh, buyers or sellers, right? Either one. Yes. Not both, not not everything. It's it's one or the other. One or the other. Because what okay. I want you to do is I want you to start doing, putting out content, teaching people about that. That's, that's what it's okay. all about. We're now attracting the first time home buyer or just a buyer in general, or we're, tr we're attracting the seller. It's, it's either one. 
And again, during the month, during the month, you're going to have a listing that you'll want to run an ad on. You'll have an open house that you'll want to run an ad on. That's fine. That's every now and then. But, the, but to stay consistent with Facebook ads and to keep our pipeline full at all times, it's either a buyer guide or a seller guide. You're going to, that's how okay. you'll be capturing leads all month long. If you can put out content, simply educating people and then giving them something for free to download. Okay. And it's one or the other. It's not both. You know, it's one or the other. Can you, can you send me uh, some of the examples? Yeah, for uh, sure, man. For I sure. Look at it, either for sure. the buyer and, uh, and the seller. For sure. For sure. For sure. I'll email you, I'll email you to email them to you when I'm done with this next call. And then, and then we'll chat tomorrow. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Okay, my friend. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Okay, Bye. Bye-bye.